take like 1,000 billion zillion? Because... No, you can't. It's okay. What book are we reading? So, hello, everybody. Today we're going to be um, discussing The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, chapters 10 through 13. Yeah, yeah. Good yeah. Good. Thank you, Easy. Well, thank, thank you, everybody. Good. Thank you, everybody. So, who would like to start? Discussion boss. Right. Discussion boss. So, uh, take, take it away. Take it away. All right. So, first question: Why do you guys think Peter teamed up with the careers? Well, he was he's smart. So, yeah. I think that yeah. Peter saw that it was an opportunity to you know survive a little bit longer than he would in the games. You know, their careers they spent their whole lives training. Very, very like, you know. You want to be part of it. You want to be a career, you know what I mean? They're who you want to be. And I feel like since he doesn't really have much experience in, like, hunting and, like, with weapons and stuff, that was, like, his only shot to not get killed, basically. Yes, he friends. Yeah. I think, For sure. I think a bigger thing is rather, why did Peter team up with the careers? Why did the careers choose him? Because I don't think Peter just went up to them and said, yo, let's work together. I think they went to Peter and said, oh, yeah. work oh, with us. Because yeah. it I makes know. no sense. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. makes yeah. no yeah. sense for yeah. Peter to be the one who actually had power in that situation. Yeah, the only way that the Marines are ever going to be able to find Katniss is because of Peter. Because Peter was close to her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they're supposed to be in love. Yeah. And that's but, why they call him. Do you, think, do you guys think Katniss felt betrayed when she found out that Peter was working with her careers? Yes. Yeah, I thought yeah. Katniss in a good way, yeah. I feel like she yeah. understands though. I feel, uh, I don't know. I mean, she knows only one woman can win. I don't know she why. She felt like she betrayed. Yeah. 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 She, like, she was talking about like killing them and stuff. But in the book. If, if like, um, if like Peter is like the only one who knows how to like kill her and like, the careers that like he wants to like be in the careers why wouldn't he tell her them because about he himself? loves her well we don't know that from like but you can assume that she he does because he does all this stuff <clears throat> like not to just help him but to help her too but do you think i think he because he her. yeah he cares do you really her. believe that or do you think he's just using it as leverage over the career so then they wouldn't kill him because that was the only reason why they kept him alive Sure. No, I think he does because, like, me too. I think he cares about I her. I think he cares about her. I don't know about love, but I think he cares about her. Well, that's where his first mistake is. <laughs> <laughs> Only one person Only can win. Not. Only one person can win. I don't know. Uh, probably shouldn't be. You said, what would you do when you're in that situation? Me? Yeah. Well, honestly, like, I'm going to be 100% real here. If I was ever picked for the Hunger Games, I'd probably just throw myself off a building before I end that shit. Out. There's no buildings, I don't think. <laughs> you can't jump off. <laughs> I believe they said you can't jump off the tree. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Did he curse? <laughs> did he curse? I did. Uh, what did you say? Oh, my God. 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 He cursed. You said it. He cursed. Yeah, put the I'll put a quack. <laughs> off a yeah. fucking building, off a quack. Yeah, yeah. Like, off a quack. Oh I, I can quack mine too. Yeah. Actually, no, we just cut this so part out. No, we can cut this part yeah, out. Yeah, that means you're editing. Woo! No. Let's go. Use this editing as well. Whoever cusses has to edit. Rahul, thank you for voting. No, no, no. And you said, buddy, no, I already cussed one time. The whole time was like fifth time. Second, second, second. Okay, let's start again. There you go. I mean, not start again. Okay, so our book is 100 games. No, next question. We're not restarting. We're not. I have a question about the same topic. We're not restarting. Can we also not include the part of me saying I throw myself off the building? Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, come on. So, I'll just come out from the game. I'll just come out the game. Okay, guys. I, the, I don't think the meaning of Star Cross Lovers has. Feelings. The Star Cross Lovers, I think um, Suzanne Collins got that from Shakespeare. Be, I think off, of, conversation. off of Romeo and Juliet, because st there were Star Cross Lovers, and it says on the prologue Star Cross lover Lovers, so they probably got that from. <laughs> no, what, is it, what does it mean? That's just a statement. Star so, Lovers. so Star, Star Cross Lovers is supposed to mean that um, two people that fall in love that basically can't be together because of a certain situation. Like Romeo and Juliet, they couldn't be together because their families were wild. Wait, why, why, why? I thought star-crossed lovers is just like, you just get lucky and you meet somebody or something like that. I didn't know star Cross has something to do with the bad situation. Yeah, because in Romeo and Juliet, at least it has, it's in the prologue, so it talks about their destiny of um, falling in love and basically they can't be together because their families are like rivals so then and they end up dying so that's why they're star crush lovers Fine. and then Katniss 
and PETA. We're getting off track. We're getting off track. Katniss and PETA are star-crossed lovers, supposedly, because we we can assume that they like each other and they will look, 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 they look might eventually die. Honestly, I, I, assume, I, I assume that Katniss doesn't even like Peter. Honestly, I buy more into it. Remember, like she, yeah, she just did find out that the man is dude. She just had a she was just like the, the day that she was picked, she was with her boy Toy Gale, alright? <laughs> Bro, I think she likes Peter. I think that I'm Team Gale, been Team Gale. They so, uh, I think that she's in the Gale. It's I don't. Hard. I think it's that it, like the Star Cross lovers isn't like what they actually are. That's just what the people who are watching the Hunger Games do because mm-hmm. they've been painted the picture that they're in love with each other. And basically, the fact that they're in the Hunger Games means only one of them can survive. Mm-hmm. That's why that they're bound to fail. So that's why they're Star Cross lovers. I think she sees Gale as more of like a brother. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know about that one. Friend zone? I don't, uh, I don't know about that one. So. I don't know about that one. Yeah, I think so. so. If, 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 if you are not Team Gale, it says anything more. Damn. You're not Team Gale? It's Gale. I never them. said that, but I, I just think she sees him more like a, a brother. Yeah, I mean, yo, Alabama, does, Alabama does, does it. Alabama does it. Why can't she? Alabama does it. Why can't she? What? Like, once she lost a male figure in her life, she got another one. You know? No, but I get really like a male, like that Sweet type of male female. Female. Also, I don't think she's not. You know, I, know I, feel, I think it's more like a, it's like bro. a... Yo, um, vlog. Right. Get that, bro. Say. Get that. <laughs> yeah, Alabama, right. right. you like that, man. You said, I think we should explain. Because well, honestly, you guys... But you don't know about Alabama? No? Oh my god. Vlog, there's about a man. I need a background. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't want to get kicked Right. Yeah. Then oh, we do not even blame the problem. It was not yeah, just us. Yeah, but it was. It was this time. Guys. This time. Last time too. Right. Go. Back from Alabama. Well, I think that Katniss actually does like Gail because, yes. as I said I to them, it's like a daddy issues kind of thing. Her dad died, and you know what's the what usually happens. Would she like, look at uh, <laughs> like, like, come on, let's just think about it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I agree. I agree with you. Let's that's, just think about it. That's smart, because yeah. she did go hunting with her dad, and then yeah, Gail right. goes in that position, and then what happens now? It's not, becoming, becoming, it's not really becoming her dad, but I feel like she's just like relying on it. Like, 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 I feel like she, she might like crush or something, man. She's like, you're like, you're like, Dependent on somebody? Yeah, yeah. that's not what I mean though. I mean, she's like, maybe she's not dependent on him for food, but maybe she's just dependent on him for company. She goes there to de stress, and he's the person that's there with her. She's in the de stress, she goes there to get food for her family. Yeah, but she's her happy place. That's her happy place. That's her happy place. Yeah, and she's over there, away from Mr. Poe. She didn't meet him, like, she didn't, like, go after him. It was just like it happened. So I don't think it's Because both their parents died, both their dads died. Yeah. I just think they connected because of the death, an event yeah. that occurred to both of them. Mm-hmm. Instead of like that issues. No, I still think it's that issue. Thank you. Dude, this is Freudian theory. I you wonder that's what you needed. What's your next question? Uh, Uncanny. Yes, Uncanny. What do you guys think Rue is helping Katniss? Mr. Wait, what? I was just Why wondering if he actually lost the video. Rue so. is it? Uh, I don't know, know that yet. Yeah, I don't you know. know. Please let me know. Because I'm actually interested. But if you don't, tell me about it. Then I will just know that you don't watch the videos. So that's it. Okay, guys, well, continue. Let me rephrase that question. Yes, do you guys think Rue will help Katniss? Yes. yes. Yeah, of course. I think I mean, she's pointing at something. I, I think she, she, yeah, because she was yes, pointing at something. Yeah, next question. But Rue could have easily killed Katniss then. No, but Rue was following her around like the whole time. Like, yeah. But if I Rue mean, wanted to kill her as soon as she, she saw Katniss, because she knew yeah. Katniss was there, as soon as yeah. she saw her, she would have tried to do something. Yeah, I mean, she yeah. she had the. In- no, I'm saying that she could have. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because she was there. And then, her. Yeah, and at the end of the chapter, she was trying to help her. Like mm-hmm. in the dreams. Mm-hmm. The first instance so. we see a book in the story in the Hunger Games, it's her helping Katniss. So I don't think that she ever thought to kill her. No, I'm not saying she thought to, but I'm saying if she wanted to, she could. Because oh, certainly. Yeah, so, that's what I'm saying. Does Rue actually know how to fight though? We know that she can climb trees. We don't know that. We know that she can do things, but do you think she would be able to fight? You think yeah, like maybe. if she tried to kill Katniss, she'd actually be able to do it? I mean, Katniss didn't even know that Rue was there until Rue and was right Rue was like her. watching her yeah. the whole time. Exactly. So, so if she wanted to like, like her, Rue probably and Katniss doesn't even have a bow and arrow right now, so she also has a knife and who knows. But remember, she also that she can make one. from her injury. Yeah. So Rue could probably win or not. 
But sure. she doesn't because she wants to be out. Yeah. 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 What is it a power I have a position? Uh, I have a question then. Remember how Gail said that if Katniss couldn't get a bow, she could make one herself? Yes. Why hasn't Katniss done it yet? Because she's injured and she's stuck in the tree. And she probably needs like, like, like other stuff. Other stuff to as make well, it. Like, to make it. Like string and like. I don't like straight for the part where an actual, shoot the, an actual arrowhead, the arrowhead that there's at the back of the arrows. Yeah. Gail is a confused man. Mm -hmm. How could she make it there? There's no string. Maybe there is. She just can't find it. Oh, like what they call maybe she just send down some string yeah. in the box. Or, or like, like maybe they would have arrow. some like at the corner here. That's, but that's probably going to be like harder to send though. You need sponsors to send stuff like this. She, it's probably gonna be she says that didn't she have a rope inside her backpack? That's way too big. Yeah, a rope. Dude, that's like, like a She has rope. like the. She has to like. No, I don't think she had a rope. I thought she had a rope. I know she. Had, I know she had a sleeping she bag. She had a rope, a sleeping bag. And Are you sure it was a rope? Yeah, I'm sure she had. Because a Because she used her belt to tie herself to the tree. She had a belt. There was a belt. There's a belt. You need like a. I mean, there's a belt for a boat. Because when she went in. I mean, she That's her second item. item. She got can the pin use, and she got a belt. Can she That's use, cheating. Can she use a knife to cut the belt to make uh, a string? No, man. It's, it's easier if you just have a belt. She can take string off her clothing, bro. What are you saying? No, the girl on the bottom, she has the belt. Maybe it's going to break all the way to the screen. Or maybe she wasn't thinking about making the bow, but she was busy trying not to die in her career. I bet. Yeah. So you just have to get a bow and arrow. You have time to sleep, but you have time to make a bow. The bow and arrow is right for me. Like, like the career, one of the careers. But before, the point is, there's so much that happened before. She had time to sleep. She had time to sleep, but she didn't have time to make a bow? Yes, bro. But she, she also, she also, but she, but she also needed to rest because, like, she was also fatigued from like not having water and stuff. So right. she probably and running the fire. fire and and she, she got probably, hurt. Yeah, she probably like over it. And she's stuck in a tree. Yeah, that's, that's a lame excuse. Well, I mean, how depressing to I mean, what if she couldn't find a bow and arrow for the rest of the game? That just is lucky that she ended up finding it. Yeah, yeah. Why? Why does it even matter? No, it's a book. It's a book. Yeah, honey, it's a it's a it's a story. I know. It's a story. Yeah. All right. Next question. Of course, there's gonna be a bow and arrow. Like, if that's yeah. her skill, and it will be a book about the person. Yeah. Uh, cra um, pack of crackers, pack of dried beef strips, bottle of iodine, beef box strip. of wooden notches, small coil of wire. It's wire. And wire. pair of sunglasses, half pair of sunglasses. Yeah, I remember when she said she put them on, they, they made like a vision weird. Remember half a gallon mm -hmm. plastic mm -hmm. bottle, mm -hmm. half for carrying water that's that. bone dry. I think it's like a. Maybe it's all like, like a Maybe like it's just gonna have to like be in the like around there yeah. with like wood or something. So I don't think phones would be dry. I don't know what that would be. So what happened? And she was probably saving the beef strips because she was hungry. for later because yeah. she, she made the rabbit first. She, no, but she said that she like she was hungry, but she couldn't like like let herself like eat or she wouldn't like because she, she wants and to those like, things to be like her a bit because those, no, those she needs to save her. Because she was so used to eating from. No, I thought she said that she didn't have the appetite to eat during before. Yeah. Yeah, she didn't have it before, so, but then. I'm doing from, from pain and hunger, but can't bring myself to eat. So it's not even. Oh, she's I think she's she saving eat. like the the like the beef strips and the crackers because yeah. those things. That's what I said. said. What about it? Oh my god! Let her finish. Brian talking. You're trying to say that. Um, she was saving it because they're the things that can't go bad, right? Yeah, yeah. It's 13 minutes. Most of us gonna say that. No, but like I, I said that earlier. Most of us have just been. But you were listening. So. I, I did listen, but I'm just saying she was going to say it again. Yeah, but you, you're drunk. You just like, went over it. Oh, yeah. I, I'm sorry, Maker. It's going to interrupt you. I'm going to interrupt you. All right, next question, Nathan. Okay. Okay. Next question. Next question. Okay. 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 Next question. You know, Wait. think of a way to get away from them. You know, and yeah. shoot, and and they shoot arrows. Climb trees. Yeah, like maybe so. kill one or two. Who knows? Who knows? Do you guys think they'll climb the trees and shoot arrows? Do you guys think either of them will get any kills? I mean, she has to get down there to get the bow. Yeah. Do she get uh, five kills? I mean, she'd have to kill the girl with the bow to get the bow. If so. she stays in the yeah, bow. but then she needs to take the girl's bow that was pointing at that can help her kill. 
Or she could just take the girl's bow and dip. Do you okay, think she's bro. gonna try to take the bow Maybe. when they're sleeping when there's a whole bunch of courage? Yeah, yeah, no. She's gonna get like a bow. I don't think she's gonna try to take it when they're sleeping. I, I mean, think, okay, the, the chapter ended with my group it. pointing out. I mean, there's no so, way that Candace yeah. can get down there, grab the bow, and climb up before somebody else. Yeah, she goes through that way because it's gonna be too slower. Maybe Rue could, because you know, like how she hasn't noticed that Rue was with her the entire time? But as far as so we like know, Rue's pretty yeah, but Rue's just been in the trees. As far as we know, Rue has no fighting skills. So if she was she could, what if she fight like the that, best fighters? I think they would be like a smart team. Like, obviously, like they're not like strong, like the, yeah, like the guys, like how they're like big and like whatever. But then I think through like being like smart and like doing, like, uh, oh my god, they use strategy. Yeah, like use strategy. Like they can like kill people. So, like, yeah. I think that was a good insight. Did they have anyone like that when they were sleeping, or are they just like actual, just like strong and stupid? Can you say that again? So when the career tributes are on the like, the floor of the tree when Cadmus was up there, Peter, Peter. were oh, any of them there? Peter, were any yeah. of them awake though? Like were any of them awake? Yeah. Or were they well, all sleeping? Like, they were they rotating? Say, yeah, they didn't say that they were sleeping, all sleeping at, at once. They just Two never thought about it. I mean, yeah, if they were all the sleep at once, they'd That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah, are, are, they they just smart? are they just strong and stupid? So I guess not. I just think they follow themselves because they're like, oh, yeah, I'm a good yeah. here. So then they think that they're like above, above everyone else. Okay, I'm sorry. Who you guys got winning, Peter or Katniss? Kato. Katniss. Kato. Who? I think Kato was stupid. He's the strongest for your tribute. And then, like, I feel like he got this. I want the way the story is going, I want Rue. Like, I want Thresh to win. It's Cadmus and Cadmus to win. Who? Who? Fuckface. Well, I think you just. Fuckface. Oh, Fuckface. Yo! Fuckface. <laughs> <laughs> I was the third time. You did not just say Fuckface. I heard you. Fuckface. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you. Oh I said my Fuckface. God. Fuckface. No, he's, he's Fuckface is an actual character. Fuckface is a character? No, he didn't. But the way he said it. I did. Fuckface. I swear to God. Face. You can edit box face. I said box face. I heard you. You are confused. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Alright, you're shut up. You're confused. confused. You're confused. You're confused. You're confused. I said box face. Not? I know what you said. What did I say? Okay, who cares? Next question. You're at my video. You're at my video. I don't care if you didn't get those. Hey, come on. Two. What dystopian literature do we see? Yeah, it's or really even talk about that. Um, Candice, I think Candice is still passive suicide. Yeah, nothing's yeah. really happening. But she's evolving more, so because like she's noticing more and more what the capital is doing. Like and I think Peter's a passive suicide as well. I think they're all passive. He's like, like yeah, in a different way. Huh? Well, the careers seem like they're happy yeah. citizens. No, I feel like they're passive, but then. They're okay with it because they get privileged. Yeah, I feel like the careers, I mean, obviously, I don't think... I think people in game. the capital who are watching Hunger Games, they're... I think they're like, typical. Okay. They're typical citizens. Yeah. Because okay. they're just watching. I think everyone is a typical citizen. Anyone that isn't in oh, the not, not, game. I, mean, like, I think everyone in the capital... A lot of people... Well, I mean, obviously, people in the capital are typical citizens. Yeah. So, but I feel like everybody in the... Everybody on, in the district, so I don't think anybody really agrees with the Hunger Games, even if their careers has... And they're just still sending their kids to I think Effie is kind of like a passive citizen as well. Oh, like, well she's, 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 she's a capital. She's yeah. a capital citizen. Of course she's typical. No, I think she's passive. No, she's passive. Oh, she passive. knows what yeah. goes yeah. on, but she And like when they were gonna leave, she was like low-key with Like when they were leaving. Oh. oh I mean I don't know. I don't I never really liked Effie, so Guys, I don't I don't think the author was Effie either. Either. It's like so, so <laughs> annoying. Like the personality that the author gave Effie, I don't think that she likes FB, I think. <laughs> Facts. No, I don't think I'm, the just saying like that. I'm just saying like I think she's a passive citizen. Well, how do you think she's a passive citizen? Because like when they were leaving to go to the um catacombs or whatever, like where they get prepared for the game, she was like getting emotional when she was saying bye to them and like Well I feel like she would be getting emotional because Maybe she, I feel like she gets emotional for every single tribute that she mm-hmm. gets. She just gets emotional. I, I mean, like we don't know that, so like. I, I agree with Yusuf though. No, but like, come on, like, she probably does this a lot, and like, 
every single year she takes two kids. Because she probably knows, she's probably getting emotional because she knows that they're about to go die. Or she yeah, thinks I know. Every single but other the year. thing is, she thinks that they have the best chance out of all the tributes that she's yeah. got. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I guess. I, I don't know. I feel like Effie is like, she just like plays her role in the capital. I don't think she really thinks about what the Hunger Games are. She just knows that every year she takes two kids, they leave, she most likely don't come back. I don't think she really thinks to say that, oh, I'm picking these people just for them to die. She's I, mean, thinking, I think she just does it as if, like, this is my job, that's all I'm doing. I she's been doing this for so many years, so I think she's got yeah, I mean, really Why would she just uh, suddenly, right now, start caring? Because, remember, she said that those, they're the people, the tributes that she's had that has had potential. Yes, I, I don't know if that's what she said. I said that. I, I don't know that just because they have the most potential, I feel gonna write and start caring. Like, why else would like, she get angry at Katniss if... Um, I don't think she's randomly started caring. I feel like she's cared the whole time. But it's just like, like you said, it's her job. Like, she has to do it. But I don't think she necessarily doesn't care. Or else she wouldn't be getting emotional. I'm sure she's going, bye. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. You don't think she's like that every time? I feel like just Effie's kind of character. She's kind of like, you know... Eccentric, low key. I think mean, she's always like that. They're all, she's everybody at the that. Capitol gets emotional about the Hunger Games. I mean, you see, like, how how they, like, when they had their like, little romance thing, everybody got into that. Everybody was, like, super excited about it. It's like everybody it's at the Capitol is just an overly emotional person. Just mm-hmm. because it's their entertainment. Yeah, see? They get an emotionally attached to entertainment. So I don't think they really care for, I don't think she But really Effie's cares different from. The is, she, is she though? Yes. Is she? What makes her She goes she, there and she picks tributes. Yes, exactly. That must have trauma on people because she knows, like, she knows how the tributes die and stuff. Of course, she's going to be emotional. Everyone knows how the tributes die. Everyone watches the Hunger Games. Yeah, I mean, but I feel she's like, actually, I feel like, like, in it. Like, she's. I she gets that. to know the tributes. No, I feel like it's kind of like, like other people yeah. don't like know her, know them. But does that make her a passive citizen? Just her knowing the people, does that make her passive? Passive is knowing, but not doing anything about it. She no, but you're yeah, saying that she knows exactly. them. So, you're saying the thing that makes them passive is knowing that the Hunger Games are bad. Does she view the Hunger Games as bad? All she does is she knows the the tributes better than most people. Yeah, in this I capital. still, I still. Does her that. knowing the tributes better? Make her a passive character. Does she actually be the hunger? Because she does. Dude, she she gets excited for so. the hunger games, right? Yeah, like she she were to get excited, like she, she gets excited because that's her payday. No, that's I don't think so. Do you know her catchphrase? Yeah, I think because it's her job. Do you know her catchphrase? What is it again? The May the odds be ever. May the odds be ever in your favor. Do you think that show that comes from a person that truly cares, or a person that just says whatever the Hunger Games? I'm excited to watch. She's been doing it for so many years. Yeah, she's she got used to it. So she's been she doing it for so many years, years that so maybe she was attached in the beginning, but at this point, so many kids have died. And why? Why does she care? So do you yeah. think she truly is a? Pa- do you think she's a passive citizen? I don't think she I truly think understands what it is. I think she is. The way she like displays herself in the book just. I, I, think, she, I think she will be in the future, but I think right now she just doesn't care. Or find out. Like, I think, yeah. you think later in the story, she's gonna show some sign that she truly understands well, how I mean, bad Hunger Games are. She there's actually cares. two whole other books. Well, I'm sure that there's time for character. <coughs> <coughs> uh, Twenty twelve. Most blessed books. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, that is our discussion. Thank for... you for watching. Thank you for watching our vlog, Miss Thanks for watching. Our debate. Bye, Miss Jester. Bye, Miss Jester. Bye. Bye. Bye.